Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are going to begin our season long series of nursery tours, greenhouse tours, annual edition. So we are standing here in one of the greenhouses down at the nursery that we filled up yesterday with tons of gorgeous proven winners annuals. So I know we have a lot of new subscribers since this time last year. So I just wanna kind of give you a little recap. Remember, we are Jerry and Jenny Simpson of Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. We are a zone 7B, but not only do we have this gardening with Creekside, but we have a whole retail nursery, Creekside Nursery, that we are a Proven Winners Certified Garden Center. That means that we are a retail center, a garden center that sells annuals, hanging baskets, shrubs, trees, all those great things that go along with a garden center. Over the years, we have gotten to the point where we are basically 100% of our annual inventory are all proven winners. Last year, 2020, was our first year where 100% of our annual inventory was all proven winner product. Why do we do that? It's simply because they are the best plants on the market. They perform magnificently well in our North Carolina climate and they grow great for us. They grow great for our customers. Massive, huge performance that lasts all season long. We are blessed in North Carolina that we really do have a very long growing season for our annuals. Our last frost date is April the 15th. Of course, with last frost date, you have a two week window on each side. So it depends on the year and the weather as to when we can start planting. Easily, there are some things that you can plant in early April and those plants will go all the way through November. So it's a massive growing season and the Proven Winners annuals have literally just proven themselves to be winners in our garden. That is why we carry such a huge inventory of these plants. We are the grower and we are the retailer. So yes, it is middle to the end of January and we're already growing plants. They came, our first shipment of annuals came this week from the two nurseries that are the suppliers of Proven Winners annuals. So there's, just to give you a little education, there are two major greenhouses in the country that supply all of the PW annuals. It is Four Star Nursery in Michigan and then Pleasant View Gardens in New Hampshire. We get our plants from both of those nurseries. It really depends on sometimes we'll get, the, on this shipment, we got a, a ton from Pleasant View just because of what was available, sizes, so forth. But then in a couple of weeks, we'll get a massive order from Four Star. So we just go back and forth and we have great relationships with both nurseries. They're fantastic. We love them. Um, so that is what happened this week is we got that huge shipment in. So what we're going to do is just kind of go through the whole process um, just as a nursery tour, remember these are really informal. It's a one take wonder. Jerry's just sitting there filming me as I'm yapping in the greenhouse. Um, so I want to show you what these plants come to us like, and then we'll go through and show you what we got. Cause I know that y'all are just as excited about these fantastic plants as I am. When they came in and we were unboxing them, I told Jerry, I said, it feels like you're seeing an old friend that you haven't seen in a long time. It was like, <gasps> Oh, lemon coral, how I've missed you. Or, oh, surefire red. Oh, yes, you're back. So we're just going to go through and show you. Now, first of all, these plants come to us in trays. Somebody asked me on social media yesterday if you can get seeds to start your own PW plants. No, you cannot. The vast, I would say, 99% of all proven winter annuals come from what they call vegetative cuttings. So they're not from seed. They're actually taken from a mother plant, little clippings rooted and grown out. So this is our beloved Blew My Mind Avovulus. It is a fantastic plant for us hot Southern folks. Um, if you have a hot, dry climate, you need Blew My Mind. Um, so it comes to us as a little liner. So this is an example I'll hold my hand still. This is a what we call an 82 count tray. 82 simply means that there are 82 plants in this tray. For the most part, all of your trays are the exact same size. So if you have an 82 count tray, 
versus say a 52 count tray, obviously the 82s are gonna be a little bit smaller than your 52s. A 104, the plants are gonna be even smaller. So they'll come to us in various sizes. That's why I was saying sometimes we order something from Pleasant View, sometimes we order something from Four Star because maybe we need a plant in a bigger stage versus another size. So that's why we go back and forth. We take these sweet little plugs of ovulus and we have our, really have our kiddos, this is their job, take the Proven Winner tray. So this is a 10 count tray, this is a Proven Winner's tray, Proven Winner's pots, they go in it, we fill it with fantastic potting soil. You take your finger, you stick a hole, make a hole with your finger and you put the plant in there. I'm doing this one handed so forgive me. And basically it's like that. And then we stick the tags on them and then we bring them in here. So this is all of the gorgeous Proven Winter Annuals that we got potted up yesterday. As you can tell, we still have some more to go because you can see all of these trays beside of me that are still in their black nursery pots as opposed to the white PW pots. Now, not all of these are proven, I mean, I've got perennials in here too. So they're not all PW annuals, but there are a good number of them in here. We've got grasses, we've got all sorts of things um, that are just great fillers. I'm gonna try, if you've been around us for very long, you know that when I start talking about plants, I get really excited and I could just sit here and talk for hours and hours and hours about the plants. I'm gonna try to give you a brief overview of the things that we have. This is not an all-inclusive list of the plants that we're gonna carry. This is just the first shipment. So if you don't see a plant that you love and you wonder if we have, just hold tight, we'll have everything ready. Um, we are still gonna do online shipping this year. We are working to do those final stages to get everything tweaked and ready for you. As soon as the website is up and we start taking orders, do not fret. We will let you know exactly when that is so that you can go ahead and start placing your orders. Because I know especially for people that are in parts of the country and it's just really hard for you sometimes to find great Proven Winners plants, if you can get any PW plants. Um, I know that Proven Winners wishes that they were in all the garden centers all over the country, but it's up to the individual garden center to carry their products, okay? So just, it's not Proven Winners' fault, it's you need to go to your garden center and say, hey, can y'all carry this plant? We're gonna go run through it really quickly, because like I said, we could be here for a long time. One, and I'm gonna show you the tags. If you have a question, go to provenwinners.com, put the name of the plant in, it'll tell you everything you wanna know. These are all annuals, meaning it doesn't matter what your growing zone is, they will work in your garden. I may be able to plant it in April, maybe you have to wait till early June. If you're in a really, if you're in Canada, maybe you have to wait a little bit. Or you're um, in California, maybe you can plant yours in March, where I can plant mine in April. So that's just, they're all annuals, one season, they'll work in any garden. One of our favorite, you want me to hold it up, Jerry? Is that easier for you? Jerry's working my camera here. A great plant is the Surefire Begonias. We love this plant, and you're like, Jenny, it's a begonia. I know it's a begonia, but it is the best begonia I, I've ever seen in my life. So it comes in rose and red. These are be nice, big, tall begonias. They get to be about, you know, 12 to 24 inches. When I put it in the landscape, they easily reach that 24 inches. They will go nonstop till you get a hard frost. Gorgeous color, extremely drought tolerant. Once they're established, sun or shade. So we love that. They are just fantastic. You will see these grow as the season goes on. I will use these in my landscape. In fact, yesterday when we were potting them up, I told Jerry, I was like, I did not have enough Surefire in my life last year, and so we're gonna fix that this year and use a ton of it. I'm gonna go through and just kinda let Jerry scan. We've gotten a lot of new um, Proven Accents, which is like great fillers for your containers or the landscape. We've gotten several different types of Helichrysum. This is Icicles. Icicles I'm really excited about because it has this beautiful foliage. It's gonna be foliage only. It's not going to really have, you're going to buy it for the foliage, you're not buying it for the flowers. It almost reminds you of a type of like lavender, that silvery blue color on it. Then here we have the white licorice. It is another helichrysum, a much more trailing habit that you can already tell, but that great silvery green color to it. Very nice 
full sun to part sun. So if you get even just a couple of hours in the day, this would be a great one to do. Just really um, excited about all these different types of fillers and spillers that we're going to do that are foliage and not really um, any kind of, of flower on them to speak of. And we have one more helichrysum. This is the licorice splash. Um, a nice variegated color to it. So let me show you this. Like, look at that. Now, again, these are babies, right? Little baby plants. So sweet. So this is going to be 8 to 12 inches. So that way you get your information. That's why we love Proven Winners, too, because they have amazing tags. Believe it or not, we can get some plants. They're called non-branded plants. It means that they're not, they don't have a name brand associated with them. And you get no information, no tag. I mean, like if you get a tag, it may have its name and that's it. Well, that doesn't help. On the Proven Winners tags, it tells you everything you want to know. Um, so we've got those. Then, huh, if you're new to Proven Winners, you need some euphorbia in your life. They have a fantastic whole series of the diamond. This is Diamond Snow. Diamond Snow is um, a really nice, tight, compact, white, flowers. They have three different ones. They have Diamond Snow, which is the tightest white, but even still it's going to get a really good size. If you go back and look at um, our shade garden tours in the spring, I had this in the beds because it can do sun to part sun, so it's a little bit more shade tolerant and still blooms. Diamond Snow did great. Then there's Diamond Frost, which is a little bit more airy. Then Diamond Mountain, which can get nice and big. It's great for the landscape. As a little tidbit, I've already planned that I'm doing diamond snow in all of my hanging baskets across the front of our house because they will, I will be able to put like three in a basket and they will give me this massive mound of pure white. It's going to be gorgeous. So, I already have plans for that. Moving on down, Lantana. If you are a southerner, then you know Lantana. Look at these sweet little things. Look how little itty bitty. This is luscious marmalade. Marmalade is a beautiful, nice orange color, full sun. Lantana, of course, is notorious for being the full sun. It's a great butterfly magnet, drought, pretty drought tolerant once it's established. And this is a nice petite one. It's only 12 to 18 inches tall. So that's going to be nice and manageable. You'll easily put it in the front of your landscape or a pot. will do great. See, now look at this one. Now this is the pink berry blend. And you can see how much bigger already this one is because this is going to be a more vigorous plant. It's going to be like two feet tall, and it's those pinks and the yellows. So again, lantana comes in all sorts of colors and sizes. That's why it's really important for you to kind of have an idea of how much sun do you get, where is it going to go, is it going to go in a container, what size is your container, and then, or is it going to go in a landscape? Do you want the back of the landscape, the front of the landscape? Where do you want it? Um, and then sometimes, because gardeners are notorious, or like, I don't know where it's going, but it's a great plant, and I'm, I'll find a place. I know I've seen place in my life. Um, now, this is the brand new one. In fact, we highlighted this. This is the Luscious Royale Red Zone. This is brand new this year. We trialed it here at the garden um, center last year. It was in our trial beds. In fact, Proven Winners just ran that video that we did about my top favorite introductions that I'm excited about this year. This is one of them. It is, the blooms emerge red and orange, and then they turn to a solid red color, like flaming red. Gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And again, it's a little petite, anywhere from, you know, one to two feet tall. Um, hmm. Silver Falls, Dichondra Silver Falls. Now, you may look at this plant and go, well, Jenny, that's, that's cute, but it's, you know, really? Are you really excited about that? Yes, I am. Go back, and I want you to go back and look at some of our nursery tours where we were doing um, showcasing the wheelbarrow. This is what I had. The Silver Falls was in there as my trailer. I had just a couple of plants, and it made this massive swatch this wide. I am not exaggerating. I mean, it went for feet upon feet. It sold out rapidly because people loved it as much as we did, and then we couldn't get any more. And I had people actually say, well, can't, can't I just take a clump out of, you know, out of yours, out of the wheelbarrow? And I was like, no, I love you. No, you're not taking my plants. So we've got plenty of this. 
Um, this is just for the initial orders. So we've got that. More Lantana. This is going to be the citrus blend, which is that great orange and yellow with a little bit of pink in it. It's going to be a medium size, 12 to 20 inches. We have got some Lantana and we're buying these things early and brought these things in early thinking of you sweet folks who are in warmer climates that you can get plants earlier so get these into your hands um, as soon as possible another one that i'm really excited about as far as foliage this is lamian i knew lamian from my mama um, also called a dead nettle um, this can do sun to shade lamian is a great she uses it as a ground cover in her shade garden underneath the pine trees. It will do little delicate pink blooms on it, but it's a great trailer filler for containers. If you wanna use it as a ground cover, you certainly can do that. It is hardy in zones, um, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's technically a perennial for us because it has zones four to eight. So if you're in those hot climates, it will be an annual. This is one that's in a cooler climate, it's gonna be a perennial. But this Lamian is really neat, that beautiful green silver foliage with those really delicate pink blooms on it. Okay, we're going to twist. And then, so again, these are all ones that we have to pot up. So I'm just going to tell you, this is Baby Tut, which is a great grass. This one is um, just the spikes, you know, the classic spikes. That's it. For you folks who are going to be close by, um, we've got succulents. So I'm really excited about this. There, these are these will be the one thing that are not a, a proven winner's plant, but they did come from Pleasant View. They had this great selection of all of these cool succulents. I mean, just so, so neat. Um, these will be available here at the nursery, so you can come and get them. These are perennials, some grasses, some cat's pajamas, fiber optics grass. Look at that. Is that not just the coolest thing? This will be a great grass because it's gonna be a short and it's called fiber octic because it has those little um, white jobbies on the end. So it looks, I don't know what you call that technically. Um, oh, I know some people are gonna be really excited about this. This came from Walter's Gardens this week. All right, you may wanna guess what this is. If you think you know what it is, put it in the comments. I bet once you look at the tag here we go jerry show them the tag buried treasure what in the world's buried treasure haha <laughs> buried treasure is proven winners strawberry plants so this is buried treasure red this year they have new ones they have white and pink so these will be here and available cleome this is more of that black pearl all sorts of great stuff all right come over here real quick see if you get jenny talking about plants and annuals especially, it's just, we'll be here all day. Okay, we're entering the world of supertunias. Tons and tons and tons of supertunias. Supertunias, maybe for those of you that don't know, are the name brand, the trademark name of proven winners, petunias. So they're great petunias. Some people will say, you know, do you have weight, like Wave Petunia is another trademark name. That's a whole different company. Supertunias are proven winners. Some of the very best petunias on the market are super petunias, without a doubt. That's why we have so many of them, because they just do amazingly well. The most vigorous of their super petunias is the Vista series. So Vista, there's like, for example, this is, well, that's, let's go this way. This is super petunia Vista snowdrift. Snowdrift last year was brand new. It is a pure white bloom on, you know, it's a, yeah. Again, it was in the wheelbarrow. Gorgeous. Now you see this little teeny tiny plant and you're thinking, really? Oh my goodness. Vistas are the most vigorous. Just will go and go and go. So there's, there's snowdrift, the industry standard classic bubblegum. You think bubblegum pink? This is what it is. This will be, again, be in tons of our landscapes. I'm going to put it um, back at the house underneath the Hortzman this year. Silverberry. Silverberry is another amazing one. Remember, I planted these as hanging baskets up there above the garden boxes in the hydrangea area. I'm linking the, I'll put the link right here. Go look at that video and you will see what silverberry looks like. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. 
Then we have Paradise. Paradise is like this electric pink, they call it kind of like a watermelon pink color, super bright. And I love that the vistas, they all intermingle. So you can have in one pot, you could have three different, you could have bubblegum, silverberry, and paradise all together. And then there is fuchsia. We don't have fuchsia right now. Um, then there's a whole, it's called the mini series. So Supertunia Vista Mini, or Mini Vista rather. So this is white. And you can see there's one little bloom right here. Now, whereas the vistas are extremely vigorous, so you put them in large containers or in the landscape, the mini vistas are much more tight and controlled habit. They're not, they spread, yes, but they're not the crazy spreaders that fill in tons of room. These guys, nice, tight habit. It looks like you've been pinching them, but you, you don't have to. And of course, all the super tunias, you don't have to deadhead at all. Then there is Bordeaux. Bordeaux is a beautiful purple. Stunning. I used it. I've used all these everywhere. So we've got those. Then there's still more, there's more petunias. But let me just tell you this, super bells. So to confuse you just a little bit, there are super petunias, then there are super bells. Again, super bells is proven winner's trademark name for what you may know as million bells. That's how they got the bells part. Also known as calibracoas. Calibracoas, when you look at them, look exactly like a petunia, but typically their blooms are a little bit smaller. Now, the difference that you need to know, and I'm going to preach this to you from now to the end of time, is that petunias do fantastic in containers, in landscapes, window boxes, anywhere that gets at six plus hours of sun, it does great. Super bells don't like to have wet feet. So for us here, especially when we have clay soil, they do not do well in the landscape. So if you have a window box, a hanging basket, a container, and you want to use a super bell, go for it. If you want to put something in the ground, I'm always going to steer you to a super tunia, not a super bell. Again, even proven winners says, Super bells are not really intended for the landscape. Of course, there will be those rare instances where there's the perfect conditions that they do great in the ground. As a general rule, I want you to be successful as a gardener, so I'm gonna put you in super tunias in the ground, not super bells. Love them though, because they come in so many different colors. Like, look at this. Look at lemon slice. Lemon slice is just, I mean, it is just a ray of sunshine. Look at that. You cannot beat these. We do tons of hanging baskets in the Super Bells. Um, then there's a whole star series. I'll just let Jerry just kind of do a gentle swipe. Um, so there's Rising Star, which is a beautiful pink and yellow. The Holy Series, we love the Holy Series. This is Holy Cow. Um, another great one, one of my absolute all-time favorites is Dreamsicle. Dreamsicle is classic Clemson orange. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Massive um, color. Then there's Holy Smokes, which is the purple and the yellow. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. Again, this is not the only ones that we're going to carry. It's just the ones that we have right now. We have Osteos. So um, this is the Bright Light series. We have the yellow and the moon glow double moon glow, I will tell you. These were some of the earliest bloomers for us last year in the nursery because they are more of a cool weather plant. Like they bloom really pretty early. In fact, that one came with a little bud on it right there. Um, it's a very reminiscent of a small daisy. Do really well. Um, again, they do like that full to part sun. So you need at least a good four or five hours of sun or more to help them just be prolific bloomers, but they are great. Um, oh, fantastic. Let's see what else we have down here. Oh, and the, the fans kicked on. They'll turn off here in a second. So we have, of course, this is a heated greenhouse and it's temperature controlled. So there's fans on the vents on the front and then the fan. So the exhaust fan, thank you. So once it hits a certain temperature, that kicks on, it sucks in all the nice cool air on the outside. 
it gets nice and cooled down and then it turns off so that's what all that's all about lemon coral lemon coral sedum again if you are not familiar with lemon coral sedum then you need to have this in your life technically it is a perennial for us here in zone 7 because it will go from 7a to 11b so it loves the heat very low i mean it only gets it says three to ten inches 10 inches would be like when it blooms and that would be like more like your second year really stays around that three inch mark but it spreads not invasive but it just forms this gorgeous lime green mound again we have that over there at the house it makes this gorgeous border um, it does great in pots sweet friend customer of ours put it in a pot with some coleus and it just goes crazy like it just whoo it is gorgeous but if you're looking for some bright limey green color you cannot miss lemon coral sedum like i said it will bloom but typically that's your second year that it blooms um and there's those little teeny tiny yellow flowers on it and then the last one we're going to finish up because you cannot miss that last super tunia that we're going to talk about today picasso in purple picasso in purple is one of the most stunning eye-catching petunias because it has that gorgeous pink center and then the edges are all this lime green we do these in hanging baskets and obviously as four inch material hanging baskets they are stunning absolutely stunning gorgeous so make sure you get some picasso um, in purple in your life this year um, i think that's all well it's not all but it's pretty darn close to everything that we have gotten potted up again we will keep you posted when we do these weekly nursery tours you will be amazed at how you can see these plants grow before our very eyes jerry will he is the master grower here so he controls their growth based on how much water they get the you know the temperature of the air and all of that so now he is on his a game and got to get back into the swing of taking care of some annuals so that we can get them into your hands Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has brought a little bit of sunshine. If you're in a cold, dark part of the country or the world, hopefully this has brought a little bit of sunshine to your day. Um, as always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.